and we're live. They were all like, it's 2020, Joe. We're drinking. <laughs> yeah, it's 2020. We're going to get fucked up. Oh, I, I just put together 2020, the, the bad year meme kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. The, Wait the, till 2021. It's going to get wild. Oh, God, I hope so. We'll see. I hope I oh. hope things just go off the fucking rails. Let's go. Man, <laughs> what if there's zombies next year? And we're like, man, 2020 wasn't so bad. If there's <laughs> zombies next year, like seven years after the whole zombie preparedness trend ended, fuck. Like, I, I don't think yeah. I have my werewolf <laughs> zombie something else stick anymore that you gave me. What was You're the other thing? That? Vampire? Yeah, vampires. It was a, it, oh. you know, it's the vampire steak with the silver bullets inside of it. So you uh, cover three all and your one. It, yeah, three there's... and one. It's like my shampoos. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> rookie, getting stuff done. <laughs> I wonder what the. I'm gonna Google what is the most in one shampoo. I've had five, five and one. Oh my god, what are the five things? Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, deodorant. It, Moisturizer? Moisturizer, that's probably some bullshit one they threw in there. And I can't imagine what a fifth thing could be. What else does it do? Nothing. A five Bug repellent. Bug repellent. <laughs> <laughs> With DEET. Yeah. <laughs> Suave eight in one. Now with DEET. <laughs> oh. you, know, you gotta smell like a camping trip without any of the fun. Like, mm-hmm. you, just, you just smell like DEET. <laughs> a 12 in one shampoo? What? It's weird how smells work. We started talking about DEET and I could smell it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like, is- yeah, I remember that smell. I remember lathering that shit all over myself. They really I never needed- minded the smell, honestly. It's not that bad. Tiger, <laughs> Tiger <laughs> King is turning his life around. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is, is it this- turns out that the this guy in charge of the Bureau of Land Management looks a lot like you know, a guy who the took tiger a king. fork in the road from the Tiger King. <laughs> the forests are never going to recover from this. <laughs> he says that the court decision ousting him from the from the BLM has had no impact. So he's just going to stay. Okay. Yeah, they the, found the recently that The top tweet was, is that he went and picked up a truckload of meat for at Walmart for his tigers. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, lovers. <laughs> who eat rotten slime? I mean, cheese. I'm not gay, but I'm about get to the marry first this man. Pick of the truck, of course. <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> I love that. That was the. That was one of the best parts of that show. When you see them going through the meat truck, and and the one guy is like trying to sell it as like we live pretty pretty good around here. Look, look, crab legs. Look at that. Look at that crab legs. Oh, the meat's like, still in there. Yes. <laughs> just like they're cracked. Ooh. Those are thrown away crab legs sitting on top of spoiled meat in the back of a truck. You're just picking through refuse. Yeah, you're going to be ill. This is seafood. You're eating old seafood that's in a, a black hefty bag. It's disgusting. <laughs> There's a wheat pretty good around here. Crab legs tonight, boys. And uh, then those trailers they were living in. Dude, that mm. doesn't that feel like it was years ago now? God, this has been a long fucking year, dude. That was right at the beginning of quarantine when the yeah. Tiger King was the big... I mean, that's the reason dude. I think it went so big is because everybody was like, well, I'm staying home. Oh, it absolutely is. The, yeah. You're right. It's been a long year. I was just thinking earlier in the show, since last week, Trump has been hospitalized for COVID, came out of the hospital for COVID, and there's been a vice presidential debate, and now Trump is refusing to do the debate that's scheduled for the 15th. That's between shows. That's yeah. that's an insane yeah. month, let alone a week. Like we're, we're we're so deep into it now that like riots don't even make the news. <laughs> it's just riots like, don't oh, make the oh, news. There's some more stuff going on, but it's five it's five months on the run. What you, you you know you know it's up. What do you got here? Murder? Not the murder hornets again. Murder well, hornets. I saw this thread hornets. of 2020 was kind of left. I'm waiting for the return. I guess not. It says murder hornets invading U.S. are about to enter their slaughter, slaughter phase. phase. And Good. what does that mean as I read it for the first time? Well, <laughs> it says they will visit apiaries, basically mark a hive, attack it in force, removing every bee from the hive, decapitate them, killing all the workers, and spending the next few days harvesting the brood and the pupae out of the hive as a food source. Oh, thank God. They're slaughtering other bees. Well... I- the not us. hornets aren't bees, but I get your no, no, point. no. But the hornets go. Oh, I see what you mean. 
They, you, they don't make honey? You know, they're be like <laughs> They probably Taylor. make something else that'd be really tasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's where syrup comes from. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's a Canadian wasp. <laughs> make delicious syrup for you to put on your breakfast. <laughs> Dude, the whole 2020 being a nightmare narrative to me works against Trump a little unfairly. He's not responsible for murder, murder hornets, but there, there's just this general agreement. It's the worst year ever to happen. I see it more as like a COVID meme where like every time you think it's going to get better, it doesn't. I, I see. Like, remember, remember when it was two weeks of self-isolation? It, co- it would have been if everybody fucking stuck the plan. I, Trump really did fuck this up. Like he politicized it. He called it a democratic hoax rather than You're lead. Right. He downplayed it. He told his people to resist it. He felt like I think the economy was, you know, his, the, the thing that was working for him and the yeah. COVID was working against him. So he just told everyone it wasn't true. If we had buckled down and actually united like we did around 9-11 or something and all got on board then uh, then it would have worked. I feel like it's too late now. Too late now. At this point, th- even if the pandemic's not done with us, we're done with it. We're like, fuck it. You know, I've been quarantining if, for months now. I'm done. If he had had this big moment where he reached across, he, where he literally, where he shows up with fucking Obama and literally Obama, Clinton, fu- the good one, not the not not Hillary. The good Which one's the good one? Oh, okay, the one that fucks. Uh, you know. Uh, Bush, the funny and fuck, one, fucking throw Nancy Pelosi and whoever, and and they they all had were sitting on, behind a table. Maybe put him in the middle. He gets to sit in the middle. He's the president, current president. And, and they and they just said, "Hey, listen, this virus is serious, but with you know American resolve, we can can be the best in the world at at, at beating this thing quickly and efficiently." Sci- our, the best science says that two weeks of isolation and, and we'll be through the worst of this. We're selling masks so to DonaldTrump.com. Like, 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 all he had to say was like, this, 180 million masks will be done by tomorrow, 350 million by the end of the week. They're mm-hmm. being sent out to everywhere. If you want one, apply here. Go to Trump.com. Get your mask. Get your Trump mask. Or your Obama mask, whatever you want. You know, he doesn't. He, he, he's he not put even his running. fucking face. He's on selling it or Obama masks too. He's, he's <laughs> <laughs> they all go to his campaign. Yeah, that would, that it, would it, he said, "You know, I'm working with Congress. We're already drafting a stimulus bill because I'm sorry, America. We're taking a month off from work. Think of it as a vacation to be at home. But your checks are, are going to be in the mail in, by w- within ten days. We don't want any businesses having to foreclose." We're, you know, we're, we're giving exemptions for renters and this and that. If he just had this big plan that allowed our entire fucking country, the biggest economy in the world, or maybe not, to shut down for 30 days, it would have been over in March. You, you hit the nail on the head with the uh, the co-opting the patriotism side, because that would have been the smart move for him. It's saying, like, this is crushing Italy right now. It's crushing Spain. We're going to show the world. We're going to lead by example. We will handle this better than it. Like if he had done that and taken like a rah rah shish boom bah, America can handle this better than everyone else. It that was the tactic to take, but I, like I very clearly with, that ship has sailed. Everything you said is right. Even the last part, I agree with that too. I do wonder if Trump had done that, if the Democrats would have been like, "Ha, huh, fascist." I'm not wearing a mask now that Trump wants me to. Fuck that, that guy. <laughs> Trump wins either way if you do that. Say that again? If, if Trump had been the mask had, had been the mask guy and the, the conservatives had been the mask party and, uh, you know, the, the, the Dems had been the ones who were, uh, you know, Anti-science. anti-mask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would have been such a good look this time of year. True. Yeah. True. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. The but it's the opposite. Sick. Now you get these fucking, like, what, what what's the subreddit wolves ate my face or whatever leopards, leopards ate my face which is you know these people going on there and being like whoa i wonder why it's uh all, only all, only conservatives have uh coronavirus and, and people are just like because only conservatives are refusing to wear masks you dumbass you know it's 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 like that that's why because you people were too fucking ignorant to see to your conspiracy believing karens 
You're fucking yeah. Facebook trolls. You didn't want to put a fucking cotton mask on. You acted like you were suffocating, and <laughs> and now you all have the fuck a fucking That's like the virus. That's part. <laughs> yeah, you you fucking, you fucking pussy ass losers. You you tout yourselves to be tough and American made, but a fucking mask was too much. Like like, I wear one when I cut the grass. You pussy. Like 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 like. I, I wear one every time that? I go outside of this house. It's not a big deal. I like it, and you always know when you have bad breath. You wear a mask while you mow the lawn. People do that. First, that's you insane. Ever, because of allergies, not because of yeah. Oh, I was like, how small is your yard? Are you like <laughs> mowing in tandem with this other guy? Like talking? <laughs> no, I'm saying I've all, what I'm saying is I've always worn masks when I cut grass because of like grass allergies and the dust mm -hmm. that it kicks up. You know, you're doing circles and you, I so feel you, you, I feel you. it's blowing in your face. Yeah. Well, I like the title of this Leopards Ate My Face because you know how much I enjoy people getting what's coming when they fuck with animals. Yeah. So. It, 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 people don't know that subreddit. It's not political. It can be, but it's not all, you know, politics. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, I'm probably going to describe it poorly, but it's kind of like um, people getting their comeuppance because of their ignorance a lot, a lot of the times. You yeah. know, it, it's people making bad decisions and that backfiring on them and then being like, hey, how did this happen? And it's like, how do you fucking think? Yeah, uh, I, yeah. Trump, rather than lead, he kind of downplayed, and it, it's it's the knock I have against him. Like he often doesn't have an actual strategy for solving problems. He has a media strategy for spinning the news about the problems, and sometimes that works. Sometimes that's even what you need. But sometimes you actually need to solve shit, and that's not really his specialty. He's just about spinning stuff. Mm -hmm. And in COVID, it didn't work out. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think he's gonna lose for sure. I just don't there. understand how he's so stupid. Like, like, like. I thought he was at least a good delegator and someone who could take advice from experts, but he's clearly not. Because any one of us would have made better decisions. At, like, just listening from the experts. Like, like what we've heard from CNN. Like, I remember months and months ago, we were just like, "Oh shit, this is no good. Everybody needs to be wearing a mask." Yeah, well, and it's really short-sighted of him to have done it that way. Like, it, it shows a sense of short-sightedness, like what, what he said. Why do you keep minimizing? Prioritizing the economy. It's because, like what Woody and I have said before, like, he was thinking, the only thing I have to hang my hat on is the economy. And if the economy starts to go down, suddenly, what's in my corner? What am I going to tout? And so he thought, ah, this really is bullshit. I'll call it bullshit. People will keep working. Economy stays good. Bada bing, bada boom. We're rolling into November with a booming economy. Now I, there's uh, disc a record scratch. Turns out that it's fucking real. And now he's already done like the overextended. And so he doesn't want to come back and say, oh, no, actually, we need to do this because then it makes him look indecisive. Yeah, now there's a couple hundred thousand people dead and the economy is still fucked. I got it yeah. wrong, too. I, I like to hope if I was president and I had better information, I'd get it right. But I think if I recall, when I first heard about it, I was like, Ebola was bo bullshit. SARS was bullshit. Bird flu was bullshit. Um, Not me. I ranked it a one out of ten. <laughs> I remember. On the day. <laughs> I specifically remember. One because, being the highest. No. And I remember because that episode. He's joking, Kyle, Taylor. You know, I know. But I, want to just hit the record. I, I know he's fucking right. But I remember. I was saying that this was going to be you, bad. You did, yeah, like yeah. That, that was why my take you had on people it, in your universe with subject matter expertise. Yeah, yeah. People I knew who were like, uh, "Hey, this isn't. This is going to be way worse than that other stuff. Like, it's going to be pretty risky." And I remember Kyle being like, "I hope I get it. I hope I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. Come on, COVID." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> did I say that? You you I said you know. wanted to get it, just to get it out of the way. Like fast forward a month and it's like, shit's getting real. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no telling what nonsense I said. I thought yeah. um, 200,000 oh, people died. Like that big round number. It yeah. would be more of a holy smokes. Can you believe this happened? Kind of event. It came and went. I don't know. There was some bigger news going on that day. Well, now it's, it's over. I'm not sure. it's like I think the death toll is a weird <laughs> number because like, like all right, when 9-11 happened and whatever, 4,800 people got, got immediately killed. It's like, not one of those people where you're like, well, I mean, that guy did have emphysema as well. <laughs> you know, that was a, I'm pretty sure the plane that hit him was just a contributing factor to his <laughs> emphysema. 
you know, I, I'm pretty sure that lady spiraling down from the 87th floor, uh, she had a deg degenerative bone disease. We'll do it like Charlottesville, right? She had a heart quote. attack on the way down, really. It wasn't now, the that fault. lady just had a heart attack, all right? Like, like, that <laughs> Heather Heyer chick was like 400 fucking pounds. She she was gonna drop she was gonna drop in any moment. All right. Okay. okay. Look, they Dude. surrounded that man. They terrorized him. He was just trying to get away. He Who was just, just think and that big fat mass monster just just she jumped in front of his car trying to trying to attack him mm. and and he swerved to avoid her and she had a heart attack and 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 passed away. Dude, India. Who is India fooling? Our total cases is seven point eight million and they're claiming six point nine. No way, India. Are you shitting me? Yeah, I don't know about all that, but I would imagine by now, wouldn't there be like piles of dead bodies in places? They've got like a India? huge poor population. They throw them in the river. There, I just have to guess they're not tested. But I mean, like as far as death totals go, like you would imagine, even with a relative like a like most viruses, a very small death total, given that population center, like tons of bodies, like tons of people dying. You would guess. I hear they you. Just throw them in the river. And I guess, the, the I guess the interesting thing still makes sense because like, oh, this person died. What was it? Don't know. We're, mm. we're not going to count it as that, though. They caught the death. You know, that's all you need to know. Yeah. Ah, he died of living in India. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, the classic uh, tales all the time. <laughs> uh, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's been a crazy year. I hope it gets crazier. Um, I made that prediction, I think, um, on PKN that Biden was going to die before um, election night. And uh, not too late. It's not too late, obviously. Got a couple, couple more weeks to go. Um, because I just think 2020 is some sort of I think our fucking universe collided with another one. And we've been twisted into some sort of parallel zone where black is white and up is down. And just weird shit is going to happen. Just, just stuff that wasn't supposed to happen. Just uh, uh, odd, odd, like make-believe, nonsense, bizarre world shit is going to happen. And the, the most crazy thing that I could imagine happening um, would be, the, within re within reason, would be Biden fucking dying before this thing happens. Because yeah. I think Trump beats Kamala. Dude, get yeah. hear me out. October 15th, they do an in-real, in-person debate. It's only, what, uh, 18 days later that the election happens? Yeah. That's right about when Biden would die. Yeah. From the COVID that Trump gives him. Yeah. That's Whoa. 2020. That, that's the plot twist. That's his October surprise. Coughing that would be a, in his direction. That would be a great season finale. <laughs> it would be. Oh, well that, it, it, it really would. Yeah. <laughs> it really would. We were in the middle of the penultimate episode, and I think now we're about to start the finale. What the happens week. if you win the election and then the winner dies before January 23rd or whatever it is? You grab the VP, right? Uh, I think the that's my like logical guess, but yeah, I don't know. What else would they do? You know. Well, he, oh, you got to be the same president. Does it again? Try again next time. I, like, I think Kamala is your president. Yeah, that would be my guess. If or if Trump died, then to just well, I guess Googly. Trump's president. What if what if uh, president elect dies before inauguration? That would be better phrasing. Definitely. Oh God. The, <laughs> so what happens if a nominee dies before or after the election? It's complicated. <laughs> uh, of course it is. Just on a quick scan, it appears that a lot of the electoral voters from the states are not bound to vote for the people that the citizens told them to vote for mm. so things get a little dicey on who the electoral college votes for when that person is dead yeah oh they would probably come together and agree on kamala though i would think that would be best for the country to like i don't know like it, that's Rather what the people like would want that she would be kind of the rightful winner ish yeah mm -hmm. you know like it, who else would it be I guess Trump got second place, so you could argue it goes to second place. Um, he would. He that, would, right? 
That's the best way. <laughs> that's the season finale. We're all like, oh, no, that's the season finale. <laughs> Trump loses, but Biden dies, so Trump wins. Yeah, and now by bird law, he has another <laughs> four years in the Oval Office. Oh, my God. He'd be the only two-term, pres- he'd be two-term president to to not win a, either na- either uh, election. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Oh, that'd be great. That's what I want. That's my. <laughs> you, want, you want Biden if, to win and then if, him to die and then Trump to become. If I had a monkey's paw and I could fucking. <laughs> Biden wins but dies and Trump does four more years. <laughs> Dude, I, I, unironically, there would be mass suicides. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the greatest thing from 2016, I swear to God, and I. I It'll be on YouTube forever. So anytime I need a little pick me up, I go watch it. This is the crying women, right? It's those crying fucking dyke haircut having bitches sitting there bemoaning that Hillary is not president. The balloons are loaded up in the air on those nets ready to rain down. The confetti cannons are fucking loaded. They're all there in their best fucking dockers and button-up shirts. <laughs> and they're crying watching, their beady watching, little eyes out. Watching the reaction to the loss uh, on in 2016 from the Hillary fans was one of the most satisfying and funny thing ever. Because there were like people wearing shirts where it was like, like it or not, she's president now. Like Hillary's like tweets out a photo of herself as a kid saying like, say hello to this future president. And it's like all this stuff where it was like, take that glass ceiling. Every single voter for Hillary or not every single, but a lot of voters for Hillary and especially the hardcore ones that seemed at least online thought it was a totally foregone conclusion. And so like the, sh- the look of true and genuine shock of like, wait, this is a possibility. This we might not win and then losing Oh the, oh that was just uh, that was. And then one Trump of, comes out. Sorry, it took so long. Complicated business. Yeah, and, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> and they have to watch that, you know. Dude, just, please, I, I look. Uh, I hate those women. I hate that they're they vote for the same candidate I do. You guys know I've said this a million times. This overweight, dyke haired, cut, fat, <laughs> arm shaking, angry, whatever. Ah, oh, I, I, I that. I know Republicans feel that way about all the like Charlottesville idiots that are on their team. You know, they just wish they weren't on their team. But uh, God, I want the reverse this time. Can I have it? Can I have some country boy in a plaid shirt throwing a temper tantrum because his candidate didn't win, <laughs> banging things, kicking his tractor? You know, like I don't know what the fuck he needs to do, but kicking but, his tractor. <laughs> like you don't have a tractor. Okay, I got a tractor. <laughs> but, yeah, but, like, yeah, like, you know, throwing stones in the glass house. <laughs> I I, I'm here. just saying, I'm trying to picture this, like, temper tantrum from the right, whatever that would be. Uh, please get it on video and, and let me post it on my Facebook page. Yeah, let's let's see what we get. I don't think it'll be, even if Trump loses, it won't be anything even close. Big girls don't cry. There's a lot of people losing. Right. You know, let, let them grab their AR-15s and stomp around like they're going to do something. I, I don't know. Uh, look, it only needs to be 10 people for me to have fun with it. There have to be 10 people. Oh, there's at least losers. 10 people out there to freak the fuck out. Yeah. No you get them all happens, together, though, because I, I, really I need to, I need to see them all crying as a group. That was so nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need a, I need God, a well that was a good matchup. night. <laughs> that's that's what I need. <laughs> that yeah, might have been the best night of my life. <laughs> What'd it you say, sudden, Taylor? I can't hear your words. No matter what happens, we're going to get great videos and reactions out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I watch Trump lose by like 170 electoral votes and not concede defeat. Like that'd be, that'd be fun. That might God happen. Emperor Trump. What'd you say? God Emperor Trump. God Emperor Trump. 